Our country is below sea level, so we always had to find ways to survive with, with the danger of the water. So that's why I think it's kind of in our DNA that we always have to be inventive and think from different perspectives. I think for us, what makes it a home and what is different than the design projects we do for clients is that for clients we really make a plan and a layout and a concept and a design. Where here we, we more just followed our intuition and we didn't make a plan that was 100% uh, decided. What we like is why we also live with our own objects, is that it's in a way also a good way to test them. And that's also nice that something can evolve in a design product where it started as just a self-made thing for the house. One of the founders of what is called the design, Gerrit Rietveld, just made his famous chair in 1918 and there wasn't a big company to produce it, so he just started to do it himself. And I think that's a big example for for us and our generation to, you know, to just do it. Sometimes you're ahead of time with your design, Some, sometimes you're spot on, sometimes you might be a bit behind. But if you're patient and you trust in the fact that the time will come at a certain point, then also you don't need to rush with these kind of things. Children are also a good test case. Often when I have a new design, I first test it with them. And if they understand the concept, I'm sure that the others should understand it as well, the grown-ups. Kiki always says, I'm a, I'm a big child. I think you become younger of, of mind with kids around. And also at the studio, we always have interns and we, we really like that sort of new energy. We try to create this atmosphere of where it almost feels like a, like a holiday home every day. If you have a busy work and you come home and you can just relax, you can cook outside and take a dive, it's like a, like a dream. Dutch design doesn't literally have to do with Dutch people. It's more a mentality, I think. It's also a bit about anarchy, being anarchistic in your work, in life maybe. And it's about personality and about having fun. If you don't have fun, you better stop doing it.